Well, good day. I'm Dwayne Metz. Welcome to today's Living Word. Getting back to the premarital primer found in Malachi 2, 11 through 16 today. This is a must-read section of scripture for those considering marriage. Today, we're going to talk about one of the main purposes of God's institution of marriage, namely using the fleshly union of man and wife to produce godly offspring. Malachi 2.15 tells us, But did he not make them one, having a remnant of the Spirit? And why one? He seeks godly offspring. Family planning has been a buzzword for many generations in our culture, yet it's a fairly recent phenomenon in the church. It was not widely accepted by Protestants until the 1930s, and once accepted by one domination, denomination, the rest fell like dominoes. Like it or not, the very term birth control smacks of rebellion against God as if we are in control of when life begins. We are in control of the size of our families and not him. So couples considering marriage ought to take time to meditate on the word of God when it comes to their family planning and adjust their outlook concerning family size accordingly. Having fewer children may have led to a higher standard of living, but I wonder if it has led to a higher standard of life. The Lord has checked in on this matter. In Psalm 127, 3 through 5, he says this, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord. The fruit of the womb is a reward. Like arrows in the hand of a warrior, so are the children of one's youth. Happy is the man who has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but shall speak with their enemies in the gate. So take these things into consideration before you tie the knot. And no matter how many children God blesses you with, seek to raise them up in the admonition of the Lord, so that when they are old, they will not depart from the faith because the Lord seeks godly offspring. I'm Dwayne Matz. That's today's Living Word.